So where exactly do I start this story from? Where do I start from? Hey y'all, your prodigal vlogger is back. Prodigal YouTuber has come back. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Marina here, prodigal YouTuber that has vanished for the last month is back. Um, I've missed you guys. I just thought it was time to um, close this gap that was starting to grow. Um, that was starting to grow beyond what was initially anticipated or initially planned. Um, I missed you guys really, like sincerely. I really missed this, talking to you people. Um, and a couple of you were starting to now harass me, especially in church. In the house of God, I will meet you people and you tell me, Oh, hi, Marina. Nice. So take the break. Anyway, we'll take all the break that you need. But when are we getting the next video? I'm like, ah, but you just have to take all the break that I need. <laughs> so, so while people were showing concern and saying, ah, okay, yes, you need to take some time for yourself. They were also like, kia, kia, time is going. Anyway, bottom line of all of this, guys, all of this rambling is just to say, I have missed you guys so much. If you're finding me for the first time, this is not typical behavior. I've been away from YouTube for the last month completely unplanned like it was supposed to be a week it just became one thing on top of the other one thing on, after another and i needed to take this step back so you guys know that i'm back to taking classes but that's not the major reason why i took this break because i mean if you followed me for a while i have done studying for like two straight years while i was shooting consistent content on youtube it's been an intense program for sure but that's not the major reason why um, I took this break guys bottom line. I just got tired and Secondly, I got overtaken by a very larger than normal Dose of mom guilt. Let me explain what I mean. So my kids are Getting older like they are now more aware they are now at the stage where their needs are getting very defined and they want the help now when they were much younger, like when I started taking courses, maybe like a couple of years ago, they were relatively younger. There were some things I didn't have to worry about then. That is a concern now because we're getting into preteens, right? And yeah, their needs, like I said, are getting more defined. And to make all of that even more complicated, they are currently on holiday. As with everybody's child, I'm coming to that too. All of you who have children who are at home, you are going to have to tell me how you're doing it because... Some days I feel like I don't, I have no clue what I'm doing in this parenting journey, you know. Um, I noticed that my kids started coming to the point where they're like, coming to my office and they're like, oh, mom, are you working again? And I'm like, yeah, work hasn't closed. They're like, okay, I'll come back. I come back, they come back again and say, mom, are you still working? I'm like, uh, yes, work has finished now. I'm just um, completing my online classes. Okay, I'll come back. Mom. Are you still working? They come back. I'm like, yes, I just finished my online classes. I'm just trying to reply to this email. And at some point, I'm like, for God's sake, Marina, these children need to talk. These children want to connect. These children are looking for their mother. Can you put that laptop away and go and answer them? That's how we started. And then there were conversations that just seemed like, oh, no, don't worry. I'll just go to daddy. Mommy's busy. Oh, no, don't worry. I'll just, I'll come back later. I know you're busy. Like, they now started making excuses for me why they will not come to me. Now, that's children just being children. But it started to poke me, to make me feel like, what's this picture that I am painting? What is this message that I am sending to my children? So, one day I just said, my daughter came into my room and said, Mom, are you working? I'm like, I'm going to be done working 10 minutes and I'll come and look for you. And I went to her room to say, hey, I'm done. What did you need? She was so happy that I came into her room and we we're having that conversation. Now, don't get me wrong. We still have time, um, family time that we take off to just do stuff with them. But the fact that they were on holiday at home all day, every day, just made their needs 10 times more pronounced. And because... I cannot take two months off work because my children are on holiday. It just got harder to keep up with the mom 10,000 times a day. My husband no longer works predominantly remote. So there are a lot of times where he goes to work. Sometimes it has got even more quiet at work because <laughs> when the kids are home or their friends are around or their cousins are around, it has become more noisy in my house. Me, I don't have where to run to, but he, he has his office to go to where he goes to do his work and... I have to stay at home so it just got harder to manage 
the needs being the parents at home and having my children all day every day so it was that small seed of mom guilt guys that exploded to this one month um break that i've taken from youtube i came to the point where i felt the need like i needed to be a little more present especially for my children especially for the stage of life that they're in right now and when i took the first week i'm like oh my god i felt such a relief because the truth of the matter is that running this channel together with a full-time job it's a lot of work like filming the videos um editing the videos it's 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 hard work to keep up with and when i look at my life right now like the only thing i can take a break from at the moment is shooting content that's the only thing that appears to still be um, an option that i can take a break from i can't take a break from being a wife i can't take a break from being a mom i can't take a break from my full-time job like, i mean except for paid holiday that that is i cannot just wake up and say i don't want to work i'm taking the next one month off i'm not i've not reached that point yet we're still hustling now when i get to that point where i'm rich enough to take those breaks then yes i'll take them but right now this is the hustle phase i'm not even going to deceive myself anyway guys long and short of the matter is that when i took that one week break i did not realize how much i needed to offload that pressure off i have to record i have to edit i have to do this i have to do that i have to respond to comments like all of those things i was beginning to slack on uh, so when i took when i took one week off i'm like oh my god the relief can i just add one more week before we know what was intended to be one week had become five weeks in this five weeks break we <clears throat> took some time i took some some time off work we took a road trip to prince albert um we went to wasco Sioux in prince albert and just to unwind and do some family stuff and you guys guess what for the first time in history i went on holiday and did not take my laptop i tried to record the experience i recorded some parts of the trip the drive I just got to Prince Albert and I'm like, I have to be present in this experience because while you're recording, I'm no longer experiencing it with my family. Your view just becomes from the eye of content. You don't really stay present to really enjoy the experience. I filmed day one and just put the camera away. I'm like, nope, I'm not doing this. So I don't have videos. I don't have a complete vlog of Prince Albert. I'll insert some pictures so you guys can see. So we took that break with friends, of course, went to Prince Albert. I uh, spent a couple of days um, just by the lake, like doing absolutely nothing but water play all day, every day. Like we got one of those hotels that oversee the lake. So that's what we pretty much did. It was lake to pool to back to lake to, yeah, that's all we did. It was very calming. It was very relaxing. I was excited not to be under the pressure of um, responding to emails and just all those stuff that typically happen when I go on holiday. So this was the first time and I loved it. Right now, my family is in Calgary. You guys know, well, you can't really tell I'm in a diff different location. I'm just in a different vehicle. We are in Calgary at the moment. You guys will see all of that in a subsequent vlog, but I just thought it was time to come close the loop because I was talking with a couple of people yesterday and they were like, Marina, actually, when is this break going to be over? And I realized I did not even, I don't even know when the break is going to be over. So I'm like, I'm doing this. I'm just going to push myself and record a video today and just let you guys know that first of all, I'm fine. Um, I A comment popped up on my YouTube studio and just said, you need to come check in with us. We know you're taking classes. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia, by the way. I'll respond to that comment shortly. I just saw it this morning. Um, we know you're taking classes, but you need to check in with us and let us know you're fine. Guys, I'm fine. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to leave you guys hanging for this long, but it was necessary for me to do that for my family, for myself, for my sanity, and just take that step back, recalibrate and be a present parent um, for my children. Because I mean, mom guilt is a thing. Some of you might be able to relate to what I'm talking about, but I just got overtaken by that guilt and I felt like, okay, I'm so concerned about all these things that I'm trying to do and I'm forgetting to be present in the moment. So I needed to just stop and recalibrate and reprioritize what was really important to me in the moment. And at that time, for this phase, my children are my glass balls. Every other thing is a rubber ball. That's why I let them drop. So yes, I had to prioritize my glass balls and just taking all this time and spending time together as a family. I see how much that is refoiling them and guys, I cannot trade that for all the money in the world. Quite frankly, I cannot trade that. So 
Um, so yeah, that's where I have been. The intention was not to run away and just abandon the channel. Like it means nothing to me. It means everything to me, guys. Please don't even get that twisted. Um, I missed this. I missed the community. I missed the banter that happens in the comment section. And I started seeing people and I'll run. Like when they see me in public, I say, oh, Marina, how are you? I'm like, I'm fine. When they say, when are you coming back to YouTube? I'll just do like this. Like take three steps back and vanish. Like because I had no answer. Um, but I'm happy to be back, uh, guys. I'm learning how to manage the pressure for myself when i need to take a step back i will i'll take the breaks when i need them and i thank you guys in advance for your understanding uh for this phase in my life plenty of things are happening you guys know that i am back to school taking courses to become a family life coach a family systems engineering practitioner that's what i'm going to be and you guys it has been such an eye-opener like i know that i've said this before but yo you guys marina another level of marina is about to be unlocked like and you guys are going to see it like i i feel like this is square peg in square hole i'm finally learning the proper way to do the things that i already have a natural knack for so do you do you see where that combo can go like i said i'm going to come and be sharing some of my learnings with you guys you guys recently eh, i got a mind shift moment for something that as simple as my name I have never said this thing publicly anyway that for the longest time in my life I hated my name Marina I hated my name it was in the course of this program I started to ask questions and I realized that oh my god I don't feel that way anymore see that has to be another story time I have a lot of stories it's just that I overthink the stories and I think nobody wants to hear that nobody wants to hear that but truth is I will bring it if people don't want to hear it I will know from the comments from what, how you guys engage I will know but I have to bring that as a different story time like my name used to keep me awake at night <laughs> anyway guys I'm back now I'm going to be as much as I can, I'll try to be as consistent as I can be from here. And uh, when I need considerations, I'll let you guys know. But so far, my family is fine. We're doing okay. I just came to stop, to close this loop, to check in with you guys and say, I'm okay. I'm doing well. I'm not sick. My family is fine. I just needed to take this step back and be a little more present um for my for my children like and my children have grown so much guys you you will see them in the subsequent vlog like i just woke up one day and my 10 year old is actually five feet six inches like like where did time go like where, i could carry this girl with one hand now i can't even raise her up <laughs> and my son is just maybe like an inch shorter but two of them have really grown like so when i tell you that we're at a phase where their needs are more defined and we're entering preteens guys Nobody, you people do not want me. Those of you that have teenage and preteen children, you do not want me. How are you people doing this? Like, how do you keep up with the, especially the emotional needs? Like, the emotions are getting so much more defined. Like, I want to express how I feel. I want to talk about how my emotions are today. Like, and we are trying to create that safe space where they can express whatever it is that's going on. But, yo, guys, you people do not, you didn't want me. <laughs> anyway hopefully you guys get to see more of our journey from here and um, for those of you that be angry don't be angry please this girl is human and i, I don't use battery it's, it's blood that is here please help me <laughs> anyway thank you people i've missed you guys so much i know i've said that before but it's actually true i really have missed you guys thank you very much for watching uh i hope i see you in the next video you guys please don't be so angry that you abandon me let's not do this please come back those of you who have taken one month break too break is over you can come back now okay our channel is back thank you so much for watching this video guys please still subscribe i know that i don't have content i've not had content in the last little while but please still subscribe if you haven't subscribed okay thank you again um i love you guys i missed you guys i'm happy to be back i'm happy to be in front of a camera again um I'll see you guys in the next one.